Welcome back guys, it's Legit Lee back again with another video. Today I am doing a video for Father's Day. Um, I'm trying to show you guys what everybody else is saying about Father's Day. You know, it's really hard to find gifts for your father. And like I know the mother is always asking or kids are always asking. You know, and do you have, you know, websites and stuff like that i found this website it's cosmopolitan obviously people read it or whatever they have a magazine it's really popular and just want to start off with something like this and then you know then i would recommend some stuff that i would get because i like to you know I'm a, I'm a father and i like to create things so you know i'm just going to go down the list here okay so it's 30 great gifts for your dad will totally love so you know go down one you know, the first one on the list is some cool glasses, two-tone eyeglasses with pres um, prescription lenses, and it's $95. Now, I love glasses, yes, but I don't wear glasses for no prescription. I like sunglasses. I'm a sunglasses type of guy because I live in Florida, and it's very sunny out. So, but uh, so yeah, you got glasses here, so that definitely would be one. And another one here would be audiobook. I don't tend to really listen to audiobooks. That's just me. I, re I read and just watch videos and stuff. I don't really listen to audiobooks. I never actually got into it, so I can't say that's a bad thing or a good thing for a father's gift. It just depends on the father. And then um, you can see here that they have one for headphones, noise canceling headphones. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Every father on the planet will love some decent headphones. There's not a person on the planet that doesn't love some form of music, whether it's country, rock, heavy metal, rap, whatever it is, hip hop, R&B, the whole nine yards. And when you're a father, noise canceling headphones is perfect for you because of the fact if you have kids, they yell, scream, make a lot of noise, and you don't want to hear it sometimes. So yeah, I would definitely say number three would work out great for a father. And uh, so the next one is nice pants. Well, yeah, I mean, every father or anybody would love a nice pair of jeans or, you know, dress pants if you're going out somewhere. These are Levi's down here. It says Levi's for $98. And, I mean, they're nice. I mean, it's not my choice of a pair of pants because I don't really like, you know, this look. I like, I like designs in my jeans a little bit, like some... Um, like little designs not not like patches where like it has like graffiti and stuff like that I'm just saying like the little stretch marks or something that you know it just looks nice not something so plain but um yeah father would like to get some pants so it's not bad now ultimate coffee machine I'm not saying that you know fathers don't love coffee I've seen a lot of people drink coffee so yeah, that seems like a really good gift. Me, personally, I don't drink coffee like that. I'm not a coffee guy. I don't like caffeine that way. But, you know, Starbucks, obviously, there's millions of people on the planet that love coffee. So, I, yeah, I would suggest it. Like I said, it's just you have to see if that's what your, if your father likes stuff like that. If he drinks coffee, yeah, get him a coffee maker. It's just, you know, your preference. Anyway, um... Now, number six is a soft briefcase. Well, yes. You know, if your father actually goes to work with, you know, a briefcase, a laptop, whatever the case is, you know, there's leather ones, there's obviously the soft one, perfect work bag for dads who would really rather be out camping. So, yeah, I mean, no, I'm not going to lie, every dad on the planet loves to go out, I mean, I love being out in the open. I, I watch nature channel stuff. I I really do like nature stuff, taking pictures, stuff like that. So, like that would be a nice bag to have, special. But I mean, I don't know about the color. If I'm camping, I'm not trying to go all cam camoed out because if I drop my bag somewhere, it's gonna be really hard for me to find it. I'd rather have it be some kind of color that is noticeable, you know. But um, it's not bad. I. I I like it I'm just saying like the color I would assume if you have a laptop in there and you're camping and you know what if you left your bag somewhere you it'll be really hard for you to find it <laughs> if you're in the woods but uh 
So number seven, portable charcoal grill. That's actually really great because I love to cook. Like I've, um, I love cooking on the grill. You know, chicken wings, uh, hot dogs, hamburgers, ribs, whatever the case may be. You know, cooking outside has always been a good thing for anybody. Everybody loves to grill outside, especially when it's a nice day out. So yeah, a grill definitely work out great. And I mean, that's a Coleman one, so you can even have gas. You can see the gas tank there. So that's not actually a bad idea. And then a uh, wearable, sterile, uh, you know, slippers. I would say yes. If you're, you know, if you if he walks around a lot at night. I'm not a type of person that, like, at night, if I'm going, if I'm going to walk around, I'll just throw on some regular slippers, slippers. I wouldn't wear this, but, you know, I, I don't know. Like I said, that would depend on, you know, the father himself if he wears stuff like that. Uh, leather jacket, those are for those uh, retro fathers, kind of, because, I mean, unless there's motorcycles, like, you know, they have, you know, that type of father, they have, like, the motorcycle, and you can see him wearing a leather jacket, so, yeah. Leather jacket seems to be a, a nice thing. I mean, I had a leather jacket back when I was in uh, middle school, and I got that from my father. It was like a hand-me-down thing. It was, I felt happy about having it on because, you know, it was something my dad used to have. So leather jacket, I would say, would be a, a definitely a good Father's Day gift. I wouldn't say no father would. I don't think a father would actually hate a leather jacket. Now, chocolate-dipped potato chips. I don't know about that one. I don't even think I've actually had a chocolate chip dip potato chip. So, um, I would say yes because, you know, it's a snack. I mean, all fathers love snacks. I mean, I don't know about the chocolate part because of the fact, you know, if they're, you know, allergic to chocolate, that's a very rare case. But, you know, there's people out there that are allergic to chocolate, so that, that I wouldn't say, you know, to be nice. I would say I don't know because that depends on your father if he's allergic to chocolate. I don't think, I've never heard of anybody being allergic to potato chips, but the chocolate part, yes. Now, badass feminist literature. I don't know about that one. I'm not even touching this. I'm just going to scroll through 11. <laughs> uh... Number 12, baller suitcase. Now, I'm not going to lie, that suitcase looks on point because of the fact it looks like it's damn near indestructible. I mean, it looks like something that uh, the SWAT or like arm, uh, not SWAT, but the armored truck guys would use to carry money out or something. That thing looks damn near impenetrable. Like, I feel like it would be bulletproof or something. <laughs> so, uh,. If he wants to wear, you know, have something like that just to look cool, like, yeah, man, this my luggage ain't going nowhere. Ain't nobody breaking into this. I would say, yes, go ahead and get something like that. Especially if he travels a lot, like taking flights and stuff. And then a grown-up backpack. I don't know about that one. If he likes wearing backpacks, then I would say, yeah. I mean, I wear, I wear a backpack, but I wear one... It's only for my camera stuff, and that's because of my camera stuff, like uh, lenses and stuff like that. So I'm not saying a backpack isn't bad. I'm just saying I want to see like a really older dad wearing a backpack. You just don't. I mean, I think they would wear a fanny pack before they wear a backpack for some reason. That's just me. I could just see that, you know, for the older older dads. Anyway, um. And it says fancy shaving kit. Not gonna lie, every dad on the planet has to shave. There's no way that they don't shave somewhere on their body, whether it's chest, face, mu uh, mustache, uh, sideburns, edging up, fades. So yeah, you're always there's always gonna be a need for a shaving cream kit or clippers you know if you want to buy them clippers or uh, razor blades or whatever they're never not going to use it so that's always going to be a must because hair always grows even if your dad is bald at the top he may have some facial hair so i would say yeah that was definitely a good father's day gift i'm surprised it's all the way down at number 14 though 
because usually when it comes to a Father's Day gift, the main thing that you guys should always remember is that get a gift that you know they're going to use. So obviously they're going to use a shaving cream kit because, or a, a, sha a clippers, shavers, whatever, because of the fact they have to shave eventually. They're not just going to let their hair grow out and look like a wild animal or something. So. I would assume that should have been closer to the top. I don't know why it's number 14. That's a little strange. And then less fancy but still totally great shaving kit. Okay, so that's weird. Why would you have a you know, shaving kit and then another shaving cream kit? So they just put two of those. And like I said, I don't understand why it's so low. Now virtual reality headset. I'm not sure to be honest with you some dads or if they're really techie like me I would appreciate something like this but you know some other people you know there's a lot of older guys out here that don't like using smartphones like that like um be like oh I don't need why you need a phone that has to you know why you playing games on your phone or you know there's a lot of older people that don't understand why we play games on our phone period so I would assume like I said before definitely have to be uh, depends on your father type so if he likes to play games with you you know or like talks about VRs or something like that then yeah get him a virtual reality headset that would make sense but if you know he's a type oh why are you playing games on your phone you're gonna kill your battery what if you break your phone why you're always on your phone blah 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 if you see that he doesn't do something like that then I wouldn't recommend getting this so that's why I could see it being number 16 now Number 17, a VR controller to go with that headset. Wow, so you have to buy this and then buy this together. Like I said on the last one, you know, father's choice. But yeah, I mean, if you're going to have a headset, you might as well go, go ahead and have a controller too. So I would say, yeah, if, you're, if he's that type that wants the headset. Now, number 18, retro table. It's a tabletop game. Um, I don't know. It seems kind of decent, but I don't want to recommend it for a father, to be honest. I'm not saying that they wouldn't use it. It's just, I would see them wanting a foosball table, maybe, or, you know, dartboard, something, like, or a pool table, you know, something that you know they're going to use. I, w I don't even know what this game is, to be honest with you. I mean, I understand it's retro, but... It looks like hacky sack kind of not hacky sack but the um that one bean bag we have to throw it through a little you know circle thing or like that a tic tac toe version of it or something so it says tabletop cornhole game never seen this before in real life so I wouldn't recommend getting this one if you're gonna get them something like that I would recommend like foosball a uh, pool table, a dartboard, um, you know, something you will find at a bar maybe. You know, or if you really had some money, you know, if he's that type that likes to gamble here and there, if you have money like that, get him one of those gambling tables, like, um, you know, a poker table, basically. Um, number 19, Hawaiian tie. Now that's iffy. Like, that just depends on the father's dress preference I mean personally me I wouldn't want a Hawaiian tie you know if I'm gonna be dressing in a suit or something like that I'll make sure that my tie is really nice I mean this one doesn't actually look too bad well like I've seen you know who I don't I wouldn't want Hawaiian like flowers or something all over my tie me I'm a real plain uh, father I guess so like I would you know do if I'm wearing a you know white dress shirt I would use a black tie if I was wearing a black dress shirt I would use a white tie like I, I'm, I'm really a two-toned type of person three maybe four tops so like I wouldn't have a multi-purpose colored tie <laughs> to add to my wardrobe so it just depends on what you're trying to get them so a tie isn't bad I just want to do Hawaiian unless I was at Hawaii or I mean or at a beach or something but why would you be wearing a tie if you're at a beach you know like you you fathers usually don't even have a shirt on if they're at a beach so why would you have a tie on you know 
usually if you're gonna do that you might also just get them a, a pair of short or Hawaiian shorts or like you know swimming trunks or something but anyway on to number 20 the perfect belt I would say yes and no I mean I don't think there's a such thing as a perfect belt to be honest but there is nice belts out there I definitely wouldn't want my kids spending $85 on a belt for me but yeah a belt would be nice I guess but I wouldn't seem it being like a Father's Day gift I mean what father would be like oh I can't wait to ha to get this belt you know so I wouldn't even put that on here but you know it just depends maybe if your father travels a lot and he does a lot of business stuff and you know he wants to look the part you know they have their shirts tucked in all the time needs a belt then yeah get him a belt but I don't I'm not 100% this that's kind of like I'm a 50 50 on this one now a digital camera let me just tell you great gift that would be a great gift because of the fact I love cameras this is all my preference I'm just showing you know telling you guys my side and then like I would just I'm trying to put my shoe foot my I'm trying to put my feet in other people's shoes basically seeing you know a different aspect you know if it wasn't me if it was somebody else and seeing how they would react to having a gift like this so I love cameras like I have one DSLR and a micro for four thirds mirrorless camera and I have two three lenses for my DSLR and then I only have a kit lens for the micro four thirds but I just got that one so you know for a Father's Day gift for me I'll be like yeah I want another lens or something so and I like making videos and taking pictures and what father doesn't want to take pictures of their kids or their like when they're out on outings and stuff like that I mean your phone can only take so good of a picture and even with that your some phones don't have internal storage memory so like you know why would you you know there's only so many pictures you could take say like you go on a vacation you're not gonna take a bunch of pictures and then have a whole bunch on your phone like you're gonna run out of space really fast so uh, yeah definitely a camera and most cameras though you don't have to get nothing super expensive like this is a Canon that's expensive $400 you know you could get a cheap camera for your father and as long as it's like he'll be happy with a 1080p you know and that's most cameras now you I mean 720 is pretty much going obsolete so 1080p and then you know 4k is like super expensive you got your father a 4k camera you're like the best child on the planet let me just tell you that right now because 4k is expensive but every father would want it they just if they love tech they would definitely if they want if you know they like cameras 4k is the main topic of every discussion out here you know and that's four times 1080p so that's the best resolution right now and it's very high quality and very clear so definitely would have said this could have been way more than just number 21 on the list but anyway um, number 22 swimming trunks and what do you know I was just talking about that you know if he's at the beach get him some swimming trunks so yeah number 22 would definitely be a decent Father's Day gift um, number 23 Apple watch now that just depends like I said before on the father like if he likes Apple products like he has the you know iPhone or you know, iPad or you know stuff any kind of Macintosh Mac you know computer based stuff then yeah you know every decent looking father that you know, like goes to work and has like a their own business type or goes to a business and dresses nice you know this is like a business quality watch so yeah the watch would work and if not if he's an Android user doesn't have to be Apple you can get him an Android watch you know watches are a good thing you know they can't a lot of business um, fathers they don't leave their phone on vibrate or have their notifications turned on like that because they may be in business meetings so if they get a call on their phone is linked to their watch and they could actually just look at the watch and be like oh hold on uh you know they see that you called and as soon as the meeting's over they'll call you right back or if they can talk to you in the meeting they could step out for a second or whatever whatever the case may be 
because these watches can receive calls through Bluetooth and can show text messages as well if you can't get through to them. So, you know, if it's something very important, this would definitely be a, a really nice gift. And then a traditional watch, yes, if, they're, if they like to dress up and go out or, you know, want to look the part, there's no father out here that wouldn't want a watch. You know, everybody knows about, you know, watches out here when it comes to, like, name brand is too like name brand watches too like a rolex like who doesn't know about a rolex watch and that's like the number one name brand watch out here so i mean this ain't rolex but i'm just saying like a father would love a rolex but i'm not trying to say go out and buy your father a rolex that stuff is expensive like they're, they're ridiculously a, a lot but a watch definitely would be a nice gift now we have 25 is cool shades obviously you know I was just saying I like to wear sunglasses now I'm not gonna spend five hundred and fifty dollars on those sunglasses so you know your choice whether you want to spend that much on your father or not you'd be an awesome kid if you did so but I think the father would be like why did you buy me the, like how much was this and like well, this is an expensive gift like, you could have got me something else like true for that you could have went you know that's like Around where I live at, $550 is enough to pay your rent for a month. Now, any father would love to have their rent paid for a month. <laughs> so, uh, they would be like, wow, well, why would you do this? <laughs> but anyway, um, number 26, classic cat uh, cologne. So, yes, definitely a good gift any, any time. So, like, Valentine's Day, uh, birthday, Father's Day, Christmas, you know, this cologne is great guys love to wear cologne especially if they're single so say like no offense you know depending on how your relationship went with you know your father and your mother splitting up and all that if he is a single guy I guarantee he'll use cologne a lot more because he loves you know even if he isn't single and he's with your mother or your father or the mother's buying it for the father or whatever the case may be every guy wants to smell good for their girl there's only a certain amount of people out there that don't like to smell good and actually like to smell nasty, but I'm not getting into that right now. But uh, most of the time, we love they love the attention they get whenever they smell good and want you know the girl to be kind of rubbing up against them, smelling their neck or whatever the case may be. So yeah, cologne, everybody loves somebody that smells good. So cologne definitely will be a good present for anybody on any anybody whether it's a father and you know perfume for the mother clone for the son if he goes to school whatever the case may be or uh you know perfume for the daughter you know anybody will love that type of gift um now number 27 sneakers yes sneakers is a good thing whether you you know you're using it to jog using you know using it for outside work or just around the house I mean nobody would hate a pair of shoes you can never have enough shoes anyways like there's always a different occasion shoes match with other clothes like those pants they were trying to sell these kind of look like they would match those pants but um so yeah shoes is definitely a, a decent father's gift now we're on number 28 we only got two more left glad you guys are still with me if you're still watching this um number 28 is IPA brewing kit. I'm guessing, yes, yeah, for brew, brewing your own beer. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a beer guy. I'm more of an, you know, if I'm, I don't really drink alcohol like that, but if I'm out socially, I would drink like regular drinks, not beer, because I'm just not, I don't like beer, I guess, that's just me. But um, if your father is like a, beer person they talk about beer and like you know uh, different types of beer and their um, quality of the beer and you know where it's brewed at and stuff like that then yeah this will be good for any father but just remember you're getting your father drunk so don't get mad if he get if he's um, up like a mad drunk or um, you know he's gonna make his own beer then go driving so like you gotta be careful how like do your research on your father before you try getting him messed up. <laughs> you don't want to really get him messed up, right? 
Anyway, uh, number 29, beer jelly. Wow. Never heard of this before, ever. That's why I'm saying I'm not a beer guy, so I wouldn't really know, but I've never heard of beer jelly before. But uh, if he likes beer, like I said, for this one, then yeah, go ahead. But me, I would not want that. Okay, and number 30. Spend some time with him. And that's not a lie. A lot of these fathers, I mean, look at this guy. You could tell he's running his own business at least. He's dressing really nice. I could see him being a CEO of a company or something, you know? And um, obviously that takes up a lot of time. If your father runs a company, whether he's just an assistant manager, regular manager, or the CEO, or the head leader of whatever company they're running, it's time consuming. And you know, every holiday that goes by, or every holiday that goes by, if they're working most of those, or not spending enough time with their family, you know, spending time with them is definitely the best thing to do on a Father's Day because you're showing them that you care. So that would be definitely be one of the greatest gifts. So say like you say like his daughter was living in another state. Like, oh, I'm going to come visit you on Father's Day. Like, he would just, I bet he would just pay for her flight to come see him. She wouldn't even have to spend a dime. His gift was her seeing him. So, yeah, definitely would be good. But, yeah, that's it. Um, that's the 30. This is 31. For some reason, they still have the backpack on here. And then, uh... But yeah, definitely would say most of those are pretty good. And there was a few that I was seeming a little skeptical about and was wondering why there was two so low on the list or on the list at all. But not so bad. Now, for me, I'm a creator. You know, like I love to create anything. Whether it's a video, um something with my hands computers technology building houses whatever the case may be and you know I never really got into it so deep until this year but when it comes to creating stuff the one thing that you can use for any of those things whether it's building a house um, building computer components uh, you know recording a video um, building anything really making anything the one gift I would say any father would love if they're you know technic te if they're like into technology if they if they know a way around a computer I'm not talking about those dads that you know think the computer's a devil or something you know like they just hate computers they or people that are skeptical about using technology and stuff like that. But if you have a father that loves to create stuff, the number one gift I would tell you to give him is something like this. This is the ANET A8. I mean, this is one of the most cheapest printers out here. It's a clone of the Prusa i3. And um, basically what it does is he allows him to create anything. Um, say like your father, you know, works for a plumbing company and instead of going to, you know, uh, Lowe's or Home Depot all the time, he can 3D print his own plumbing parts at home. Or, you know, say your father works for a computer repair company or like some a uh, PCB, you know, factory or something like that, and they need to make enclosures for their boards or uh, spacers for the offset of the micro boards and stuff like that. He could create it online, 3D print it, you know. Uh, or let's say for a housing building, basically, um, like a corner flanges and stuff like that say like instead of going to Home Depot and buying all these like braces and um, brackets and stuff like that he could 3d print the bracket using ABS plastic ABS is real strong plastic is um, 
and you could design it with the holes in it already so that way they could just drill straight into them make it look exactly like that you know you can make door hinges out of ABS plastic um, you know like there it can be really really sturdy like I've actually printed out stuff at a hundred percent infill that means a hundred percent density like a brick and it's sturdy very very sturdy and um, so yeah you could definitely get use that for people well, your father if he likes to build houses or something or um, so you got plumbers home builders even if he works on cars you know there's a bunch of customized parts you can make with 3d printers for cars I mean you could just look it up like 3d printed a whole entire car if you wanted to but I'm not gonna say this printer is gonna 3d print a whole entire car but it will be able to print out some nice stuff for a car like me I would like to rebuild my um, I have a car com uh, computer in my car it's a Windows 7 uh, micro I think it's a micro ATX motherboard I, I think I'm not a hundred percent sure I, I made it like two three four years ago or something like that and I've been wanting to update like the casing of it and like the parts and components so I would have to I was thinking about re like designing me a box that will store all that stuff in it basically a seven inch double den con uh, enclosure for the for my car computer and um, lots of lots of guys would use something like that because you know especially when it comes to mechanics because you know you can, they use like laptops to test out the torque or speed or acceleration you know like they use laptops inside of the car to test out the car to see how much like they call them dyno testing and stuff they, they test all that stuff or they use it to check um, the OB2 scanner or whatever to see what the tr uh, trouble codes are check engine light uh, fuel light a, a tire pressure sensor gauge whatever the case is they use computers a lot for cars now so you know printing out something that will store a computer in a car so that they don't have to use a laptop sounds better than having to pull out a laptop every time they have it already in the car with them so um, so you got mechanics now and then uh, you know the sky's the limit really so birdhouses uh, camera parts um, practically anything anything your father loves to build if he likes to create stuff period 3d printer will never go you will never be wrong because he literally can make it at home there's been plenty of times where I've been at Lowe's trying to piece stuff together to make my project now I don't have to do that anymore. I could make the project at my house. No more traveling to Lowe's all the time to try to like piece stuff together and spending like four or five hours out there. He knows what he wants and what he's looking for, but he can't find it and he has to like convert everything and, and try to like piece stuff together to make it work. But not anymore. 3D printer will, will help him design whatever he's looking for and he won't have to go nowhere for it so he saves time and gas so no definitely I would say the number one at the top of my list would be a 3d printer so oh and filament for the printer anyway I hope you guys liked the video please like and subscribe this is legitly here signing out